So I'm going to talk in the first person too because I just tried to do it in the third and it wasn't going to work for me. <laughs> I really had a hard time with this presentation and I actually don't have my narrative prepared and it's not for lack of trying. I don't like to talk about myself. So especially in such a um, formal manner. So I found it really difficult. I could pull the slides together and pull the pictures that I wanted, but when it came down to the words to say, I was just sitting there through Lincoln's presentation thinking, what am I gonna say? Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. I totally believe in that. Look in my closet, you'll know. I grew up in Wayland and haven't moved far, still there, and I haven't traveled far. I spend a lot of time on the Cape and I like to read. And I have three little kids who are my favorite kids in the world. None of them are mine, but <laughs> I, one of them wakes up in the middle of the night and cries, cries for me because we spend so much time together and I like to do so much things with her. So I graduated from Willen High School, moved directly to Framingham State University, and now I'm here. I really don't like when tasks are or seem pointless and contribute little to you or you have that feeling because one of my goals is to gain relevant and useful experience in the things I choose to do. I really like to be creative and I want to be successful within my own definition. I don't care what others see as successful. I want to be successful for me because I think that's part of being happy and if you're not happy, what's the point of achieving all the other goals? So as my pals, I was an achiever and an experiencer. I had a lot to do with family, fashion, I'm goal-oriented, consumer, career, socializing, and entertainment, and it definitely fit me. 